by the way, is not the solution. Baha'i faith does not accept democracy is the solution. Because what are you going to do when democracy comes right at the door in the house it dies? In a family, there's a man and a woman when they marry. You can get vote between the two what to do. What do we do there? We can't have threesomes. There's only two in a marriage. How do we get vote? So democracy dies right at the house when there are two people. There in the Baha'i faith, Baha'u'llah solved the problem again. He says when there are two people, they have to live under a rule, under a constitution that I'm proposing. It has to be signed up by the both parents, by the two parties under the you know, supervision of their parents, a contract of the marriage, which based on that people can live. It is not in contradictions with the laws of the governments or the, against the law of the Baha'i faith, but it is an extra over things then. Just like you have a contractor calling in your house to do something, so you sign a contract to prevent a problem. Same thing, two people, they don't know each other, they haven't been and grown with each other, they feel to have a, a document to say that they're... That, in a, in a real deal, in an ideal way, between the husband and wife there's a boss. Who's that boss? That boss is called Baha'u'llah. It's the Baha'i faith. Why? Because the wife is never worried her husband is going to do adultery because he as a Baha'i doesn't do that. Or he is not worried the same thing about her. They are not worried about somebody is using substance abuse, drug, heroin, drinking problem. They are out the door because they are accepted, both of them in principle, that as a Baha'i they don't engage in these things. Therefore the marriage becomes simpler, easier. A lot of uh, area of dispute is gone away. So democracy is not going to solve the problem simply become an elector. Like in the United States, there's democracy, there's Republican, there's problem. Have no religion in, as it is in the West is one problem. Having a bad religion as in the Middle East is another problem. Both of them is a problem. I'm sorry, we have not reached the maturity yet that we will not be uh, asking messengers from God to intervene. God has to intervene yet. We just come together for the first time to create a global government. So we're right in the you know, brink of it, uh, in the threshold. So we need God to come down and he has come with the Baha'i faith to cement us all together under a divine constitution, creates a love and unity and understanding parameters of the justice and everything else. So democracy is not the only thing that we need. We need a kind of dictatorship, a dictation from a person who has proven he loves us, like Baha'u'llah, who has proven he's gone all his life in jail, who has proven to have a knowledge beyond everyone in the earth as it comes to these matters. Since it is proven, we don't really call him dictator, we call him a teacher, the one who knows more. And it's proven that he loves us all, and, and he's not between us right now, he's gone. His books are here. So, this dictation from him is a part of a true government. A democracy election definitely is a part of it. And so, as you know, as Shoei Effendi says, there are four types of government aristocracy. You may say that in the line of the Prophet, and the Bab comes, and Baha'u'llah, and his son Abdul Baha, his great grandson of uh, Baha'u'llah, Shoei Effendi. As a lineage within that um, um, successions line of successions, that it is you know a divine aristocracy. You could say that you know. So the world order of Baha'u'llah has all these good things of the religion of the governments in the past, and the bad ones are apart, and a combination of all of them is creating this spaceship. But still, this divine machinery is only a machinery it needs drivers okay at the present time when we have only universal laws of justice and the universal laws of guardianship is not formed we are very vulnerable 
anybody with a tie and suit and good English writing, not like mine, you know, which you can see how lame I'm speaking to, uh, can write nice books, good words, and, you know, he uses all the conduct and attitude and the behavior that's politically correct, and he will get elected, becomes a member of Universal Laws of Justice, and the bastard is not even a Baha'i. He has come as a spy to, to kill us. There's no way to know that. And imagine out of the nine, if five of them gradually get in there, they can subside the whole fate of Baal. I'm not saying they are, but they can. This is, I can show you how they can do this. How would you stop it? Is by creation of the Universal House of Guardianship. And they get together, one man, one woman, it's an essential, natural opposition exists between them. It is impossible under that circumstances. This house of women to fall for the corruption of the man or men to fall for the corruption of the women. It is impossible to unite them, to unitedly to cheat mankind. It's impossible. But it has to be the way based on the natural opposition of the man and women which by this opposition, I do not mean they're you know, having knifing each other. No, they're confirming to each other, but they're standing independent in front of each other. And nobody is going to be subservable to the other one. This is the very ingredient of the Baha'i democracy. So, uh, this is uh, in elaborations of one of the reasons uh, that we call certain man a prophet of God, I was just trying to extend a little bit of uh, about this uh, world order of Baha'u'llah, but I have a ton of things to say, a tons of things. I don't know when is it coming, but this is, uh, I don't know, the 12 videos I've made, I'm planning probably for two hundreds of them. If God gives me the permission and uh, the life is can be sustained, so uh, I conclude uh, this at the moment, and uh, to continue next time, there are about uh, talks about the limit and certain fluctuations in the behavior and the world and the attitudes of the prophets of God. How do we compare them in comparison with the other people? Uh, as I mentioned, they have some certain, very distinct uh, uh, reasons that I given a few, six, seven of them, that it shows that they're different. But there is a lot of affinity at the same time they have with other people. Um, and I shall be speaking about that tomorrow night. Thank you very much. May God bless you all.